Welcome to our video, also to Japan issues. The Wagner Group, the Russian mercenary conglomerate that rents out its combat-experienced operators to shady governments around the world, has recently made itself indispensable to regimes in Africa. We would like to introduce the commentary by Dr. Elizabeth Bra, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, AEI where she focuses on defense against emerging national security challenges, such as hybrid and gray zone threats. Concurrently, she is a columnist with Foreign Policy, where she writes on national security and the globalized economy, an advisory council member of the Cratch Institute for Tech Diplomacy, a member of the National Preparedness Commission, UK, and a member of the Steering Committee of the Aurora Forum. Her commentary originally appeared on the Wall Street Journal. The Wagner Group, the Russian mercenary conglomerate that rents out its combat-experienced operators to shady governments around the world, has recently made itself indispensable to regimes in Africa. But the mercenaries aren't merely a guns-for-hire bunch. In Africa, they're perfecting a new form of international operation a corporate blend of military aggression and private sector business, that spells trouble for the world economic order. The group is perhaps best known for its killings in Ukraine, where it's been stationed since Vladimir Putin's invasion of Crimea in 2014. There are some 1,000 mercenaries in eastern Ukraine today, most of whom are former Russian and Belarusian special forces soldiers. Though much is unknown about the company's legal status and ownership, what is clear is that it cooperates closely with the Kremlin. Soon after the company made its debut nearly a decade ago, Wagner troops were fighting on Bashar al-Assad's side in Syria, and then on General Khalifa Haftar's side in Libya, both in support of Russian interests. But Wagner's most consequential operations are taking place in Africa, where a range of regimes, including Mali, Madagascar and the Central African Republic, have enlisted the group. While the Wagner men officially serve as advisors to governments, often for counterterrorism purposes, through their muscle they also help those regimes stay in power. As a former head of U.S. Africa Command, General Stephen Townsend, told a Senate hearing in March. They essentially run the Central African Republic. That's all about Dr. Elizabeth Bra's commentary. For further and detailed information, read the original article.